guys and welcome back to Opinion Looting. This is part two of Toxic Masculinity and we have here with us today uh, Gusham Bing, Peter Kado and Aisha Miller and we are having some heavy discussion about toxic masculinity and whether it is a thing or not. Um, so we will jump right into the, the next question that we had for them. And um, this question is, is it possible then to have gender equality when as a society we have expectations for men while we give women options meaning we expect men to be providers um, while women choose to frown upon a man who drives a taxi or is a sanitation, sanitation engineer as a source of income and we expect men to be leaders while women choose to be um, when to be submissive we 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 have gender roles because in the last conversation that came up, right? Um, our our role and function, knowing our role and function. So, is it possible that we have we could have our role and function when it is as a society we expect certain things from men, but when it comes to women, we we give them a blight. So, for the examples that um that was given, we, we expect men to be leaders, to be the man of the house. But then we have, we allow women to choose when they want, when they would like to be submissive or not. So it's okay. So we expect men to do this, but then we don't expect the same from the woman. We, we have excuses or we beat around the bush when it comes to women reciprocating the expectations. Um, I, I just want a little clarification, right? Because, I mean, when a, a question like that is asked, uh, you know, a mind is all over the place. I would like okay. to know what is gender equality? An next term idea that people are using all the time. What is gender equality? Um, hmm. Fairness across the board, because it's not equity, eh? it is equality. So, Think. So a man could be a I will use um a, a, a what what job can a man be that a woman should not be and I put it I put it in quotation right a, um, a man could be a mechanic a woman can't be that a man is better equipped to be a firefighter and a woman is not should be an administrative assistant in the in the, in the, in the, in the yes those kinds of those kinds of um, job. And a you man see, could be a construction worker, and a woman could pass the bucket. When <laughs> when you're talking again, and I like Peter. Peter is a good. Uh, it's like we're playing a striking role in a football team by Peter. But a nice little yeah, one right. we have. To <laughs> I love it by Peter. But yeah, what yeah, is yeah. gender equality? I just can't say that. Word. When you say that word, and that's why Peter's question is so important. You must say it in context. Because men and women are not equal. There are certain things a man could do that a woman cannot do. A woman could give birth, we cannot give birth, we cannot try to. We cannot do that. So when you say gender equality, you have to give context. And what society is doing is just throwing out the word without context. So then you, you leave it up to ignorant people who are not going to read and edify themselves just to coin it. Uh, gender equality, you must give the woman a chance to do this. No, there are certain things that she cannot do, even if she tried to pick up a bag of cement. She needs her man. You don't want she picking up that on her womb drop? No, you don't want that. So the man is there to do that. So when you're, um, you know, with the question that Amanda asked, um, it's all about roles and function. Roles and function, you know, and we're not saying that a woman cannot be a leader. Esther was a leader in the Bible, you know? A man is a leader when needs be. But if I am married to Carla, and I'm married to Amanda, there are rules and functions. I am the head of the home. That does not mean that Amanda or Carla does not have a say in the direction of the home should go. Right. That is where I take now my authority, my masculinity, and even it across the board. Babe, what do you think we should do? X, Y, Z is the case. Okay, and we have a discussion. All right? And after this now, where... The roles change is where the man have the last say. 
because in your marital vow, you vow that your man is the head of the home. And after the man is God. So it's God, man, then woman. You understand what I'm saying? But that don't say that she isn't equal. She have a say. But when a man, as I was telling somebody the other day, if we go in on a road trip and I say, babe, we're going left. And babe say, nah, we go right. And I say, nah, again, I think we should go left because this way look into the, to, to the beach or whatever. And she said, okay, babe, let me go left with you. And I make the left turn and it end up the wrong turn. A toxic woman would now say, you see, there's a stupidity. I tell you, don't go there. I can't hold. Listen to a woman. Eh? A, 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 a supportive woman now. Because they had a discussion, because the man made it a discussion, and they choose to get a, 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 a positive woman now would reinforce a man. Okay, babe, what are we going to rectify this situation? I think we should make a U-turn and go back. And that is where you see Everyone is on the same page, equally oaked. And that is what you need to bring. Hence, reason at the beginning of the discussion, I see when you're speaking about toxic masculinity, you have to speak about rules and women also understanding their rules along with men. So it cannot be a one-sided thing. We just can't talk about men. And within that example, though, um, since we're on the topic of toxic masculinity, a toxic man wouldn't admit that he was wrong for making that wrong too. Right? Correct. Correct. And that is where you have to, a man will say, girl, oh God, I shame out now, girl. Blah, blah, blah. A man will admit, hey, babe, I was wrong. We make a button. And the woman now would empower and say, okay, babe, this is what we could do. It's a team effort and everybody has to play the role. It's not a matter of unequal and I better than you and you better than me. It's role playing. A good captain now to utilize his team members. And that is all it is. I, I want to just rule out the term toxic masculinity and just call it toxic society because I feel as though everybody needs to be blamed for toxicity existing in the world. Right. Let me go and help you with um let me go and help you with, with roles in the house too. Okay, I am the head of the house, but there are certain leadership roles that is specific to a woman. Um, that do means a man will not come and help. For instance, I will leave you if you were your living room in green and your curtain red. We don't need to have, I, I, I don't think you need to, we need to, f I, 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 I have to be dominating and say, no, I want the curtain cream. If this is your area, because, you know, um, and allow me to bring in this here, women are good housemakers. They do, they do a better job. And us, not to say that we be ruling or the fact that there are that there are um some strong handed man that would will, will say nah, I think this color will look better. So and you agree or whatever. Even in the kitchen, if I come in the kitchen, I leave and you to cook, I'll come and cut up the seasoning. I'll come and and you lead in, you lead in, in this direction. So it's not that if when we use the term head of the home, we as Christian men not saying that you do as I say. So you you cook what I tell you to cook and you you. you you do it this way or you do it that way. We, there, there, there will be discussion, healthy discussion. And then um, we too as men, um, there are things that we need to leave women to just do. This is their area. This is their role. This is their function. And we, we handle our functions too. Amanda, I have a Agreed. question on, on you. Peter, oh, you mute. agree? Peter, oh. you mute. Oh, yeah. mute. Hey, Peter. Yeah, it's mute. Yeah. I, I was I was going to ask a question to Amanda if she agreed with Jamal, but she said she agrees. So moving on. <laughs> I, I don't totally agree though. You know, I, I don't I I I don't I don't, I don't agree with I, that. I, 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 don't agree totally agree. This, I agree in the sense when he said that um women are good to they, they make the home a home, right? And um um, that? But then not all women do that, though, Amanda. Let's also be real about that. Not all women are, I guess, equipped or even want to do that. So the part of that discussion would be that as a couple, as married, you all have conversations. If I'm in Correct. the kitchen, I don't like to wash wares, I'm being honest. I hate that, that part of the cooking. I have to do it because I'm single and... There's nobody else to wash it up for me. But if we have a conversation and I'm cooking, I would hope that you would be in the kitchen helping me wash the way. Right. I don't want to I did say, right. And no, in, in, but, uh, I in just everything. To loosely, but what I'm saying is that we will be there, but this role is predominantly yours. 
Yes, yeah, and it, I understand that. But so this this was my hiccup with your with your with your point. It should be I think it should be a conversation. Um <laughs> I think I think condensing the whole concept of uh, um rules and functions to a domesticated um level. Um it may not do the conversation justice in its broader sense, yeah? Um, yeah. Because you have men who actually take on those roles and functions. Correct. So to yeah. me, because, um, okay. it, um, in terms of uh, roles and functions, is not the, um, based on um, the household duties or even your job, as, as I think Amanda wrote that question, even your job or your education status. But but dominant. That's why I was saying that, that that's the understanding of where we fit in our roles and functions. That's why I was saying together. it's a conversation that needs to be had between the couples as to what what is ex, what is expecting expected of Carolyn and what is mm -hmm. expected of Dominic. So Dominic, I I am planning to get married to you and I'm having this conversation with you. I don't like to do yard work and I don't like to wash bears. Um, would you be able to clean those gaps? And I will clean the house from top to bottom. I'll wash all the clothes. I'll cook the food. But you see the yard work and the washing away. And we come to a, a healthy compromise in, in terms of that. So that was the issue that I was having with what you said. Yeah. Um, and so let, let, me, let me just put a pin in it, right? Um, I understand what Jamal was saying. Because essentially he wasn't being specific. Like this is what women have to do right mm -hmm. um well, from what i understand is that at the end of the day we understand in relationships to each his own every relationship is not the same every individual is not the same every female every male is not the same right so to each his own so he was just given a general idea he just used that and an, as an example but he wasn't saying that, that is the that ideal is of what it is right well, correct thank you amanda that's exactly what um, i was going to say I just want to point out something, right? Um, as it relates to the initial question, right? Um, Carla spoke about, basically, this is what I got from it, that when it comes to females, they have options about what they would and wouldn't do. But men have um, these rigid rules that they're expected to function in. So, for example, Carla will say, I think, well, not Carla, but a woman might say, you know what, I don't like to cook, right? And that is one of the, the rules that traditionally is expected of a woman, right? However, a man can decide and say, you know what, I don't want to be the provider for my house. So I don't want to, 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 to lead, lead my family in any particular direction. He'll be frowned upon. But the way that things go in now, um, you find there's more fluidity with regards to what women choosing to do and not to do, and men now are still expected, and rightfully so, to function in the traditional roles that we have. No, not only that. It's not an expect expectation, you know, but it is a necessity. There are actually certain industrial, um, industrial sectors in our society that if men are not there at all, and just by a biological standpoint, you put women there, it cannot run. It would not be able to run due to the, the level of strength and what is needed to undergo these type of operations. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we are real with the thing, there is a necessity for the man to be in certain things and do certain things. And that necessity does not diminish the woman at all. And that is why right. we need to, to recognize that um, the whole depicting against it because you're not having men out here saying toxic femininity. So this whole ideology where we feel that we need to um, call out, as you say, label um, the man as, to as toxic masculinity or characteristics, to me it's not necessary. But coming back now to basically, as Gosham is saying, understanding our roles and functions and being comfortable in it. Because the whole thing I'm looking at is basically character traits. As um, I should say, everyone needs to, to, to work on that. But we cannot use that now to say, well, um, we need to pull down men or men need to um, reframe their whole thought pattern because that's what have, have us here today surviving. Yeah. 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 Ye
let me let me add something. Uh, it is natural for a woman to follow the lead of a man. It is natural. That is in her. That is how God created her. He took her from the side of Adam's rib. That so when you're talking woman empowerment and woman, we could do we own thing and be equal. That is an agenda, as Peter pointed out in part one. That is the abnormal. To every young man out there who looking to pair themselves with a woman, your job is to edify yourself, equip yourself, and make sure you are in good and regular standing. So when you get that woman or you're looking for that woman, a woman will follow your lead. Enough. She will follow your lead, but you had to know where you're going. A lot is what is going on because of broken homes. A lot of men, young men don't know where they're going. You understand what I'm saying? So to bring uh, some context, it was I, Sean was saying where the woman could uh, take care of a home and the man could do the, the masculine stuff. You also have to take that in context. So because if Caroline did not have a mother growing up and she grew up, say, in a children's home, so she don't really know what she set in. Poor, you know, poor um, brought up C. And I, same thing. Who know role and function? None of we grow up properly. All of we dysfunctional. So that is how we would operate in our marriage if we do not correct that as adults. And it's only for so long you could go around saying, hey, my mother didn't do this. My father didn't do that. At some point, you need to take responsibility as an adult. Hence the reason, the guidelines is in the holy book, and I'm not a pastor, but to break it simply down for you, men are not expected to provide. We are commanded to provide. We don't expect, that is not an expect, that is not a choice. That is our stuff. So we as men need to understand, hey, once we set the record straight for us, women are always watching, you know. When you think women are watching, women are watching, and they observe, and we need to set the standard straight, and things will be in place. What's happening now is that a lot of us, we don't know what we want. We don't know what we want. We don't know what we stand for. So when we pay up with a woman now, it's there and it's always up back and forth. And when you get a, a verbal argument with a woman, as they always say, it has no winning. I want to add to this point that Deja made. I would just like to say that it is also very easy for a woman to submit to a man who knows where he is going and knows what he's about. It's very easy for a woman to do that because if you know the direction that you are taking the family, I will follow without, hesi without hesitation. Oh, a good woman, I should say. A, a non-toxic woman, a good woman, once the man knows where he is going and, and is sure of where he's carrying the family and has a plan and a direction, it would be easy for the woman to submit. I, I, I could totally agree. But you also have to understand you would not find the perfect situation. You know, everybody coming with baggages and damages. So people have to be understanding. That is why. You see, we cannot, as society, we stray from the truth, which is biblical. You cannot stray from the truth. The only way we could be on the same page is if we get in the information from one source. You understand that? You have to pop in on that. If we get our information, Peter going on Wikipedia, I going on, on our next site, is pressure. So if you come in with this, that is all of that is part of being equally yoked and equally yoked, go beyond marriage, go to friendship, the people you are wrong, the thought process you are wrong. That's why the Bible says, show me your friends, I tell you who you are. If you're lying with a thief, eventually you will become a thief. So all these things you need to factor in and need to take careful consideration and not only a marriage, but in your general walk in life. Even though you're, you're seeing it, you're not a pastor. You're very well religiously educated, sir. <laughs> Sounding good. Sounding good. Uh, experience, boy. Um, before we end this conversation, though, um, we just have one more question for you all. Um, how, how do we go about creating healthy masculine men or healthy masculinity, if, if, if that makes sense? Well, um, mentorship is very, very important. I could say that. And um, realizing too that mentors could be, they have their, um, their flaws as well. 
So it's not everything, you know, that's copying somebody. I mean, you know, um, we really need males who are in good and regular standing <laughs> to take a couple of the young fellas under their wings and develop the type of relationship where they could openly discuss um, issues and so on, you know? Um, I think that definitely is the way forward. Be uh, I think a lot of what we've seen is due to a lack of um, of fathers playing their role in in nurturing their sons to become the type of men that they're supposed to be, and um, mentorship could re to to some degree replace that and assist in that process. Right. I'm gonna add, and I'll just bring in my own personal experience here, which I think will, will really assist. Um, recently, within the last month or so, um, what has been up in the air for me is that I sure need some counseling by a professional because um, you didn't grow up with your mother. You was abandoned at the age of three months. Your father was not also around. My father only came sometime in 2012. So you missed that whole childhood, certain things. So you're an adult. You're already grounded and a lot of tendencies in here. So, you know, what do you do? And then the lack of a mother experience in certain areas, what do you do? So I recognize um, <laughs> that I probably would have been one of the persons that would have divorced early. So thank God I didn't get married yet. Because when I look at certain things that, that I see and how I respond and how I lash out and da 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 da, I sure probably as a part of a toxic mask but the fighting and the days but i probably will abuse my wife you will hear my mouth um i probably might see things that will hurt you or damage you or or you know those kind of things so i came to the realization that uh break generational pieces that you need to seek a professional and get some some help and and so that you don't when you get your wife and you get your child you, they're not growing up in that same generational case uh, to add what Peter is saying, um, to Aishon, um, uh, recognizing that you need help as a man is, is, is a big part in being a healthy person, not only to yourself, but to society on a whole. Um, so you must do that. I think what we need to do, and also men train the youths, you have to let a young man know that you will make mistakes. You would never be perfect. You could read all these self-help books. You could read that Holy Bible from back to front. You will fall short. And the society we live in today, as my father always told me, as a man, your spine need to be strong and your, your shoulders need to be broad. There is more expected of a man, and that is my personal opinion, than a woman. You know, we are answering to God for our families. We are the shelter of our homes. When you make mistakes, be a man and own up to it. You come out, you say, you know, and deal with the consequences. It might be very dire, but that is part of it. You will be respected more as a man than anybody else if you do that. You know, denying it and shying away from it is that is not it. That is not the answer. So when we say to be a good person out there, we, we don't mean that you walk around perfect and you're trying to be this perfect, you know, shit and tidy. No, you will make mistakes. I'm not asking, I'm telling you, you will make mistakes. And to add, Peter, you take your, your mentorship, your, your prayer, your, 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 um, your, do your personal devotion. And if you need help, nothing wrong with talking to somebody or again counseling and realizing, hey, that is what it is. Because if you're not in the right space, the generation that come from you would not be in the right space. So it's up to you to, to cut that generational curse. And uh, that will contribute in a better society for all of us. You know, thanks. Listen, well said, well said. I must say I really appreciate um, the panelists for their openness and their uh, robust conversation. Yeah, I think they, they really set a good foundation for even other discussion. Um, so I am hoping that we, we could see these cases on again um, to continue uh, further discussion. So guys, like, share, subscribe. Um, you could comment, let us know what you think about it. And uh, if it draws some type of idea in your mind, we would love to hear what you think. Yeah, thanks guys for coming and thank you all for watching. Bye.